So it's mid shift and your train goes into emergency. What do you grab to take the walk with? Couple of things. First off, your PPE, everything that you normally would have to have on, your safety glasses, your gloves, your vest, uh, everything that you need for that, your lantern, uh, your, make sure your radio is on and you do a radio check with your engineer before you leave. Uh, get that all taken care of. And then when you get ready to make that walk, you want to make sure that you grab a couple of things, um, especially if you don't have any clue as to why it went into emergency. It wasn't PTC, nothing like that. So when you leave, it's a good idea to pack one of these in your bag. This is one of those chair sleeves that you get with those uh, fold-up chairs, like this. Take one of these with you. It's got a long sling on it. And the reason for that is you can fit a lot of things in here and you don't want to have to walk all the way back to the locomotive after you've walked 100 cars. Uh, so take this and fill it up with everything that you possibly need. You'll grab a spare air hose. You'll grab a couple of fusees. Tape is a really good idea. Um, an extra set of gloves if it's raining. You don't want to be out there with wet hands. A tool, uh, some kind of multi-tool to help you when you're out there. Um, that could be for a number of different things, replacing gaskets, um, zip ties, toss these in there as well. Uh, sometimes you have to cut a car out because a brake is stuck on and there's nothing you can do to get it off. If you need to cut that car out, if you can't leave it and set it off somewhere, you need to be able to bypass it with an extension hose. So you'll basically cut off the air to that car and then you'll jump it around there with a long extension hose that goes around there. In order to put that hose on there, you'll be putting it up onto the car and attaching it with these is a good plan. If you have small bungee cords too, you can toss those in that bag. Another thing, headlamps. Even though you can't use this for hand, heads, hand signals, you wanna make sure that you have one of these on you when you take that walk, especially at night. Uh, when you do that, you wanna make sure that while you're working on whatever that happens to be, that you can be hands-free. You can't use this for signals, but this frees up your hands. Um, in addition to that, car counter. Uh, if you were given any information on how far back it may have been, maybe that separation was seen by the train that just passed you and they say, hey, it's separated 20 cars from the end. Car counter, you know where you're going. Uh, temp stick, if you need to check the heat of the wheel to see if it's something you can continue on with, etc. Take that with you. Um, that's pretty much everything in a nutshell. Uh, pen and a piece of paper is always a good plan no matter what it is. Um, and the other thing too is before you start your shift, no matter when it is, please make sure that your radio batteries are full. Uh, the last thing you want to do is get out there, have to walk 100 cars, and then need to tell your engineer something, and then your battery dies. Don't do that to yourself. So hopefully that helps. Grab one of these, toss it in your bag, scrunch it down, it folds down real small, and then fill it up with the things you need so you don't have to go back to the head end. Hope that helps.